So check this out. I have just two source images and from these two images, we can create an entire animated story and generating multiple scenes. I have the image of this man right here. I simply just prompted to say, add a hat, add a briefcase and a trump. And we have this beautiful image right here. And with just this one source of the girl, I simply asked it to put her on a bench in a train station. And there we go, very consistent. I also asked it to put her and the man who is her dad in a train station. And look at that, we have that each character looking very consistent. I can then put all of these together and animate it like so. That is super incredible, super amazing. Over the past couple of days, the internet has been going wild about a new image model called Nano Banana. A lot of people even say this might replace the need for a software like Photoshop because of how well it can do compositions and keep characters and elements in the edits very, very consistent. It's quite impressive and I've found a new workflow using this uh, that you can use to do animations with this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what Nano Banana can do and how you can access it for free for unlimited generations, at least for now. Let's get straight to the video. All right, first, let me show you some examples of making edits that you would make in a software like Photoshop. So here I have this picture of LeBron James and Steph Curry. And I simply uploaded it into Nano Banana and I asked it, this was very vague, make this into an NBA poster. And it generated that. And here's what I got using a Google Flash 2 preview. Looks quite terrible. But with Nano Banana, as you can see right here, the images look pretty good. Uh, you can see definitely that Steph Curry, that's LeBron James. It has placed uh, two balls in his hands for some reason. Other than that, this looks quite good. I mean, this could be a spot poster that you use in an event and that looks pretty good. Let's try a couple more edits. So in this case, I actually had it generate a picture of a young man in New York City. And that is not bad, but that's not what everybody's going crazy about is the edits. So I then took that same picture, fed this back into the model and asked it to do some composition. So I asked it to change the color of the tie. I asked it to add coffee in his hands. And then I asked it to fix the messy hair and change the suit color. So if you look at that, it's done all that very well, including the hair. It fixed the hair, added the coffee, did all of that while keeping the rest of the image consistent. Quite amazing. Another impressive use case I've been seeing of this is actually taking very old pictures that you have and colorizing them. So I've taken a picture right here of a black and white image and I've asked it to colorize this picture. As you can see, look at how well it's added back the details into this, quite impressive. Here's another example. And again, even in this second example, as you can see, it's done some very good details added back to the images uh, without necessarily losing the context of what they looked like, even though some of these images were old images. All right, just for me to see that it's not just good at pictures that it has been trained on, I tried here a picture of myself. So I uploaded um, right here this portrait picture of myself into it. And I said, um, change my outfit into a fireman's outfit. And yep, that definitely looks very much like me. Uh, you can see everything has been kept uh, quite consistent in my face. And we have the fireman outfit. I tried to do another one for a superhero. Um, the image does look like me, but the uh, physics of the body composition uh, definitely does not match, but my face very, very consistent. All right, let's talk about how you can actually access the tool today. So this model is not yet officially out. So there is no official official way to access it. We don't even know for sure who is behind this model, but with all indication, it seems like this is something created by Google. But there is a workaround where you can actually access the model today for free with unlimited generation. There is a platform called LM Arena. So this is where uh, model providers go to test out how well their model is to get some sort of community feedback before uh, the models are released. And this is where users recognize and actually found Nano Banana for the first time. So I'm gonna show you how you can access it today. All right, so the platform is called lmarena.ai and you just head over to there. This is how the website looks like. So what you wanna do is make sure you're in the battle mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the generate image because you can also do text-based LLMs here, but we want an image. So I'll upload a reference image like the one I had um, in the intro of the video. And I'm gonna simply just put the prompt, um, 
change her sweater to a white winter jacket and place her out by the mountains in snow. So you're going to get two assistants. They are going to generate the images side by side. And then we're going to get to compare which one we think looks better. And it will be revealed to us which model it is that generated that. But as you can see, the girl looks very consistent. Same hair, same phone. All that has changed is the jacket. And um, it's placed her in the snow mountains. So in the same way, in this other one, I said, the girl is sitting down on a bench, eagerly waiting for someone in a train station. So it was quite a vague prompt. So it gave me this where we can see the girl right now sitting on the bench, waiting. And then I took uh, the picture of the man, the older man, and I said, the man has his hands on his hat, taking out a hat. He's holding an old briefcase on his left hand. Add a street tram to the image and add train stations in the image. So uh, that's what we got this time around, and that's what generated this image right here. So as you can see, it adhered to the tram right here. Um, I guess the train station is this one behind. I was not very specific with that prompt. That could pass for a train station, but you can see he remains quite consistent. He's holding his hands on his head and he has his bag. And then this time around, I wanted to try uh, two images. So on the prompt was a side profile of the girl sitting on the chair. The man stretched forth his hands to pick up his daughter. And here's what we have with Nano Banana. Looks pretty, pretty good and quite decent. And to animate the images, I simply animated them in Runway ML using Google View 3, as Runway now has Google View 3 inside the platform. And for this particular one uh, shot, for example, I just uploaded the image right here of the dad and simply just put the prompt. The man smiles and takes off his hat as the tram passes by. The camera doll is in slowly. And then click on Submit, and Runway is going to animate that. So all you simply need to do is repeat the same step for each of your images to generate something similar to what I did in the intro. If you want to learn more about Google View 3, I have a full tutorial on that. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. You can check it out. And there are other platforms that also offer Google View 3, including the Gemini app that gives you some generations for free, um, I believe, every day or every month. So check out that video to learn more. All right, next let's see how well it does with 2D cartoon styles. Okay, so I took this image, uh, this 3D image of the character, and I just said make it into a cartoon image. And this is what it gave me. And then I re-uploaded that image back in. And then this time around, I said add a little dog in the park and put the boy on a bicycle. And here's what we have. Uh, the dog, the boy still remains quite consistent, and now we have him in the bicycle. So I could keep going on and on and on and on and tell a full story just with that one reference image. It's quite impressive. Now I took all of that, put it again in VO3, and animated it, and here's what we have. So another thing that this is actually great for is product placement. So for example, I have my friend that makes a drink called Covenant Zobo. It's a hibiscus drink. So I just placed this image here of the basketball player, and I put a photo of the drink, and I said the basketball player is holding the drink pointing to the camera in a hero shot. And there you go. I have a product placement shot right here uh, that I can use. So quite impressive. So this is a very good use case to use for this. And you can do that for free. Quench your thirst. Fuel your fire. That is the Nano Banana. I've been quite impressed with what we can do with this model. And I think it introduces an interesting workflow when generating AI animations and AI videos in general, where you can just have one reference image and with just that one image, continue to create multiple scenes and storylines. I'm gonna keep an ear out as to when and how you can access it once it's out of the LM Arena. And I'll probably do a follow-up video going more in depth in this workflow where you just have one image and you can use that to create your entire animated story. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not, so you can see that video whenever it's out. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Make sure you keep learning. Bye.